This picture haunts me all the time. Why man, it's just a picture. Don't let it get to you. I don't know. This profession is not that easy as it seems. Yeah, I get it. But that's the only way we make a living. Since the mom has passed away and dad is bedridden and I'm not even graduated yet. I'll make you a cup of coffee that will make you feel better. I hope it works out for us seriously man Hello Hi sir this is Minhaj calling from the news how are you doing today I'm fine thanks Sir the reason for the call today is that we came across this picture that you took a couple of days ago and we were very Look man interested. I don't want this thing to turn into a controversy against me since I'm already having a very tough time This picture can trigger a lot of emotion among the audience Sir you don't need to worry about anything I can promise you that the picture is going to be used for the purpose it is intended for I would forward you the details in the new Uh uh I get it but I don't want to be blackballed by the society I hope you understand Yes we do understand sir um i will send you the details and we hope to see you on the morning show day after tomorrow yeah i'll be there all right take care of yourself thanks you're very welcome have a good day sir take care bye Gentlemen, my name is O'Neil and welcome to our show. Tonight we have a very special guest and his name is Mr. Ronnie. Mr. Ronnie has done a lot for the journalists and for the freedom of media speech. But most importantly, he's now speaking up for poverty and he's fighting for the children. He's helped a lot of people and he's now running his own NGO by the name food for all so we would like to welcome mr ronnie with us tonight give him an applause so mr ronnie please tell us about yourself good evening everyone first of all i would like to thank all of you for the love and support i as a journalist have gone through a lot of phases some were rough some were smooth but giving up was never an option for me Recently I was on an assignment at Inter where I came across this girl who was struggling to get to the food center There a vulture landed nearby to prey upon her I took this photograph and I wanted to share this as a message for the people that even that young girl was fighting a battle between life and death After taking the photograph I chased the vulture away I wish I could help that girl but there the security and the doctors didn't allow us to touch the the victims because they had diseases back then Every event that takes place in your life has a lot to teach you as a lesson Your dreams and beliefs and opinions could go wrong doesn't mean your life has ended Sometimes you are meant for bigger things that you hold yourself worthy of Maybe that's why things doesn't go the right way the way you want them to go. It's just a matter of time. Thank you all once again. And I want to also announce that the prize that I'm going to get today, the amount of money, I want to donate it to the people to my NGO so they can feed the poor. Thank you so much. And thank you for having me on the show. Very inspiring man he is. and he didn't accept our gift but instead he decided to donate it to the ngo big applause for him this 
is awful. I hate my life. I knew people would make judgments. I knew it. I saw it coming. This is too much for me. I'm haunted by the vivid memories of killings and corpses and anger and pain of starving or wounded children of trigger happy madman often police of killer executioners <laughs> <laughs> 